And Lorenzo, we're hearing that number, the fatalities compared to the same period in 2018 down 48%. What is behind the drop? Well, a number of factors, Tim Begile, essentially, the minister alluding to the fact that and conceding the fact that these um, Easter weekend fell, you know, outside the school holidays. And obviously this meant that there were less cars on the road. In fact, the stats as they stand, about 1.3 million uh, cars went through the country's toll roads. This is quite a drop from 1.5 million cars that did the same journey uh, last year at the same time. But, of course, the minister was very cautious because he was pressed on this, saying that isn't this magnificent and essentially quite a drastic drop um, attributing to the fact that there's less cars on the road. And he was really, you know, pressed on that. And he basically said, look, it's also the fact that there were more boots on the ground. There were more police officers really conducting search and, um, you know, uh, operations, especially on the busy routes. And also just saying that it seems as if uh, finally, people are getting it. Uh, drivers are finally getting the fact that they need to just be more cautious on the road. I mean, we saw the minister going, um, you know, having these activations on, on highways during the Easter weekend, Tembegile, really just urging motorists as well as the people that are inside vehicles to just be more vigilant and also just to practice um, really being safe on the road to avoid drinking and driving and most importantly just to take responsibility of their own lives and ensure that they arrive alive. Beyond that, Laranzu, the minister also had some praise for the law enforcement officials who manned the highways this holiday period. Absolutely, Tembegile. We know that there was about um, 76 roadblocks in total. Uh, we also know that about 800 people were nabbed for drinking and driving. And most of concerning of that figure is the majority came from the Gauteng province. We also are aware that about 75% of the crashes are as a result of male drivers and only 15% are, um, you know, the crashes uh, being women drivers that are behind the wheel. But the men and women in blue have been given the pat on the back, certainly by the minister, saying that they have really gone over and above their duty to make sure that people are safer on the road. But he has also given them more, I guess, a responsibility. Now, from now on, Tembikile, the minister has announced that there's going to be 24-hour, 24-7, uh, uh, regards to patrolling of uh, these officers on these problematic roads, essentially just saying that there's going to be more police officers, there's going to be more traffic officials that are going to be manning the roads. Uh, he is of the view, as well as the traffic officials, officials that were here with him today, that the fact that there's more police visibility on our roads on a 24-hour basis it is showing results and this is one of the reasons why there has been this drastic decline in road deaths this year while there's a lot of positive messaging coming from this briefing by the minister the road fatalities down 48 percent we've got this praise for the law enforcement officials there are still people who did break the law while driving over the Easter long weekend. What's going to be done about those who simply are refusing to play by the rules? Yeah, the minister really conceding to the fact that drunk and driving still remains quite a stubborn problem. In fact, 91% of all the fatal crashes were as a result of human factors. But this is what the minister had to say with regards to the point demerit system. Let's take a listen. Points demerit system is coming this time around. Definitely. The law is passed by Parliament for the first time. It's now on the desk of the President. You might have seen me on television yesterday next to the President eh? on May Day in Debbie. You're not sure what you may also have been talking about, <laughs> you know, but the law nevertheless, I don't want to disclose secrets, the law nevertheless now is waiting for the president to sign. And as soon as the president signs, we have already started looking into what are the things that needs to be done in order to be able to implement the points demerit system. And we, we want to inform all of you, you're going to have 12 points each year. So, you know. When the year starts, 
we have 12 points. Then we start from there. Depending on how you behave, we start deducting until you hit zero. And when you hit zero, we will then look how serious. You can, by the way, you may hit zero in one incident. You drunk, you wipe out a family. That actually may be equal 12 points. Gone. We suspend you or we take the license from you forever. That you are such a danger to society that you are not allowed to use our rules. Just on a quick final point, Lorenzo, the minister also making the point today that it is the poor and the working class who are worst affected by the carnage on the country's roads. Absolutely. That's the first thing that he said, in fact, before he released all the results. Um, of course, this was a very uh, lengthy statement, one filled with lots of figures, uh, of course, importantly so. But he really started his statement saying that it is the working class that are most affected by these, uh, uh, you know, road carnages that continue to claim lives. I guess the big question and what will only be the proof in the pudding, really, um, Tembegile, is will the law enforcement be able to keep this up? especially as we look forward to the festive season. In fact, the minister is saying that the Easter holidays are even more problematic um, for road users on the road than the festive season. So only time will tell if uh, you know law enforcement will be able to achieve the same sort of positive results. But nonetheless, I guess there is a sigh of, collective sigh of relief that there has been less people who have passed on on the roads. And of course, the minister really saying that one life lost is one too many. ENCA reporter Lorenzo Temba speaking to us live from Pretoria this afternoon. Thank you.